M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So you've got a Yaesu 817ND, but you want it to be more like the 818, which is 6 watt, and you need to fit one of these TCXO units that are installed in the 818. So I bought that. I've already increased this to 6 watts. The way you do it is you just hold down these, and I'm not saying you should do this, but I've done it. Hold down ABC, turn on, go into the menu, and then all I did was put some settings in, because if you look here, you'll find that there are settings for transmit on different bands. UH, see there, see the low, if we look at menu number 43, it's VHF, L1, then L2, L3. So, I mean, I'd only do it in HF, to be honest. HF. And what you do is you make the change, and again, don't do it, you know? I'm saying don't do it. <laughs> Once you've made the change with the VFO, you then hold down the F and it saves the setting. And I've tested it and it's given out six watts. So it's an older radio. Right, so anyway, so it all seems fine, but the other thing you do is you need to add one of these. So we're gonna take the screws off and add this in. This is a TCXO unit and Apparently, it makes the you know the frequency more stable. It says here TCXO stands for thermally com compensated crystal oscillator. So you get one because apparently everything's more stable. So let's uh, take the lid off and we'll show you where to fit it. And it literally just slides on these pins. You've got three pins here, three pins there, and uh, my, this is a clone one. I, I recommend you don't get the clone one. I mean, you can see straight away the pins are a bit bent there on that, get the proper one, but I'm gonna put this one in for now. So there's one, two, and then a screw at the back, two at the side, two at the side. I'm leaving the side plates on. I've actually got some wind camp plates here, so um, they weren't cheap, but I'll show you them while we're doing this. They look quite smart. Look like that. I'm gonna put them on as well. Okay, let's get the lid off. So loosen the side ones. Try not to lose screws. Hopefully we don't. When these green boards, they're quite good. If, if you drop things, they're easier to, they seem to be easier to see. Right, and then be careful of the speaker when you're lifting it off. So we'll just pull it off for now. Okay, but you don't actually have to pull it off. So let's look for where it goes. And let's turn it round and the place it goes is here. Okay, that slides upwards. This thing here. And this is called the oscillator board. So I wouldn't, I'd be careful and just carefully wiggle it off. It doesn't seem tight, tight. And I'm sort of wiggling it there and see if we can carefully wiggle it off. And I've got one of these like little plastic things and I'm very conscious of this item here. And just very carefully doing this. And of course, there's no power to this unit. It is coming. Right, so there's the oscillator board. Now I'll keep this just in case we have a problem. And I'll remember that the red sort of adjustable thing was there. So now we need to put the, the oscillator board. So I go turn it over. Apparently they go in the 857 as well, and it's going to go goes this way around with the writing, you know, that way, okay? So some people, before they do this, they tidy up the solder a bit and make sure the solder's good. I've seen that on a few videos. And obviously, because one of mine was the pins were a bit skew with, we're hoping that I line it up correctly. So you've got three pins on the le on this side, four pins on the other. Like so, three pins there, 
and then I'm just going to carefully wiggle it down like so push it all the way down and then let me know what your results are and what your experience is using these these items um, uh, these sort of clone items so thanks for watching my channel seven three all the best